Hello friends, it's Anand Raj Gupta back with another YouTube video tutorial. This tutorial is going to be very useful for DIY project lovers. I'll explain to you what is ISR, Watchdog and how to implement them using ESP8266 12E or Node MCU using Arduino integrated development environment. As you can see, the code is ready for demo purpose only. I prepared it and uh, let me first of all explain to you what is an interrupt in a microcontroller well basically interrupt is some action that can be performed by the user externally to the microcontroller the purpose of interrupt is to force the microcontroller to do some specific work or task according to the code well interrupt can be given at any time from the user while microcontroller is in runtime so I hope you are aware of some basic Arduino codes. So I'll explain to you that our main code is inside void loop. Now let us suppose that our loop contains a block of code that is that takes around 10 seconds to execute. So in that 10 seconds the microcontroller is busy running this block of code. So what happens if an interrupt comes in this 10 seconds? That interrupt will be missed. So the microcontrollers are provided with a feature called ISR that is interrupt service routine function which executes simultaneously along with the void loop. Now I'll explain to you how to use them. So even if your program execution is blocked in this block of code still your interrupt service routine function will take care of all the interrupts that you provide externally to the microcontroller let me explain to you the code from the very first line in the first line i have included ticker.h well this is a header file for which you don't need to add any extra library whenever you will choose the board as node mcu it will automatically detect the ticker as you can see it is highlighted so you have to include this header file then you have to create an object you can name it anything you want okay i have named it uh, raj stick then we have initiated a variable watchdog count and given its data type to volatile int now if we give its data type int only then also your program will run but your program's vulnerability will be greater if you right here volatile then your program will be more stable why because this data type is going to be executed in an isr the interrupt service routine executes after a predefined time in the microcontroller so this data type is going to change continuously and it's like uh, you know another thread is running in the microcontroller so this data type can't be an ordinary data type it will be volatile then we have this block of code which i'll explain you after one second just wait then we have the as usual void setup and void loop let's come to void setup we have initialized serial.begin at the baud rate which is very suitable for node mcu module serial.begin lets us use the serial monitor to see some prints now the next line is very important and this line is the key to the whole structure of the code now what does it do so this is the raj tick which is the ticker which you have created earlier will be attached with the function here written here with a return type void now this is a function that is initializing the interrupt service routine to work it has two arguments I have searched on internet and nowhere I could found the definition of these arguments that what actually are these they just keep writing like one two comma and the function name but I did a number of experiments and finally found out that what is the exact meaning of these two arguments the first one is the seconds after which the ISR watchdog executes what does it mean that this function is executed along with in parallel with the void loop after this second of time after after each second this function is called independent of this function running here 
so even if you have provided a delay of 5 second your controller will not sit silently for 5 second it will keep calling this function after every 1 second every 1 second now what's going on in this function well the data type volatile int with a variable watch to count is initialized as 0 and it is incremented here for our convenience purpose or our understanding purpose i have printed few lines of codes on the serial monitor the first line says isr watchdog function executed that means we get to know that we'll see at the serial monitor that this function has been executed then this count is printed the counters value increased to this value is printed right this value so, so now coming to the last part void loop it prints the void loop is executing now when we will be i'll show you after opening the serial monitor that what's going on exactly i'm just explaining you a bit so whenever this line will be printed we get to know that void loop is executing and i have given a delay of five seconds to explain you something i'll show you and this is the block of code that can be anything at this point of time i think that you guys are understanding that why what is the importance of using the isr let me explain you one more time in another way for example let's say you are writing a code here which says that is wi-fi connected is your wi-fi connected you will be keep checking with this block of code that is your wi-fi is connected or not and in this period of time if your wi-fi is disconnected then this this line of code will be missed if some interrupt are going on here and the program is in is, is like uh, you know stuck between in this code in this block of code then you will miss this interrupt so if you write these two lines and inside this function isr watchdog you can write it here then they will be caught after every one second or you can also write 0.1 after 100 millisecond you can catch this two lines in this way you can achieve multi-threading in your node mcu module using arduino ide using this program okay so if there are in in simple words i'll tell you if there are two functions in void loop that are to be executed simultaneously i'll write it for you function one and function two if you need that these two functions have to be executed simultaneously any action performed on these two functions independently that has to be detected simultaneously can be divided by writing function 1 here and function 2 right here i hope now you understand that what is the function that this isr is executing now it's time for a demo using the serial monitor okay let me reset the node mcu module okay so as you can see i'll show you yeah the function is repeated now let's see that what exactly is going on i resetted the module right at this point now what happened void loop executed that means that void loops first line of code executed then what happens that the function is halted or it is stopped for five seconds in the void loop now that was one previously now what happens the microcontroller will not sit silently for that five seconds that five seconds it will keep executing this function in parallel with this function okay so what happens isr function isr watchdog function executed this line executed then counters value increased to one it was initialized to zero it was increased by this function call and it was printed by this line of code increased to this value is printed now after one second is done it returns back to void loop 
and see that uh, the microcontroller is ready to run the program further or not it says that no it is halted for five seconds so it will keep executing this function for that five seconds and this one tells that it has to be executed after every one second so it will be executed five times one into five is five increase to one increase to two increase to three four and five so after five times execution is done it goes back here and sees that this delay has been overcome so the void loop executes again because loop function has a nature to execute infinitely repeatedly so it is repeatedly being called and called again and again so this was the task of isr function to achieve multi-threading in node mcu or esp8266 module using arduino ide coding if you want to practice with this code i'll provide this code in description now if you want to learn more about this function then you can keep watching this video i'll show you one very important thing i'm writing here a while for with infinite loop that means while a true value this function keeps executing infinitely now you will come to see that what is soft wdt reset that is soft watchdog reset using the wdt timer let's show you the demo i'll upload this code again to my node mcu module After looking at the behavior in the serial monitor, you will come to know that at what extent this feature can be used. And I'll also explain you that this feature is included in satellites as well. So as you can see here, the soft WDT reset has been applied and let's close the serial monitor and open it one more time to see exactly what's going on. See the behavior very carefully. I hope you guys are getting something. I'll explain to you. Okay, what happens? The soft WDT reset is performed whenever your program is executed and is stuck in an infinite loop. So what is the benefit of this? It is resetted, some commands are executed which are not understandable by us. Then what happens? The program starts executing from the first line. That is void loop, void loop is executing. You remember this void loop is executing. Then again, the same function goes on, keeps on going. And then hangs in this state then the same WDT reset is happened here and then the same procedure is applied and the program is executed from the first line for one more time it keeps executing okay so what is the benefit of this the benefit of this is that your microcontroller is never sent to a hang state forever I hope you get it now Whenever a microcontroller goes in an infinite loop that will never break and your microcontroller is going to freeze right there. At that point of time, a person manually needs to press the reset button or do something that manually resets the module as here on node MCU it is given by RST button. Now suppose there is a machine or a satellite where the human can't go and manually reset the device. If somehow the controller goes in hang state or freezes or you know stuck in some program so this is the key to solve that problem whenever it is hanged it will automatically soft WDT resetted and the program starts executing one more time this is it for this video I hope you guys found it useful and wishing you a very happy new year enjoy your day bye